I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. In the town, already know the shit that I'm on. Underground king, I sit on the throne. Got me a queen, these bitches be pawns. Expecting my second, she having my son. Shit that you're doing, I already done. What did you do when you know you the one? When you know that you got it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know what it is, man. Let's salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, we just hit 52,000 subscribers. Salute to every single one of y'all. Truly appreciate it. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. I hope that y'all enjoy the predictions and all of that. But I wanted to come to y'all and talk to y'all about this Math Hoffa and Sue Surf. Sue Surf Math Hoffa. Uh, like, I, I don't know where this started. I mean, I do. I've heard about what was going on before because, uh, you know, Math Hoffa does his thing. He speaks how he speaks about, you know, pretty much everything. He has his show, he's doing his numbers, and he's doing a great thing with himself. And I appreciate and I like what he's doing for Battle Rap and all of that, you know. And I did say in the past that once you have an opinion, once you have an opinion on something, the Battle Rappers are going to come at you. They're going to talk crazy about you. They're going to say everything. They're going to call you everything except for a child of God. So, um... I don't know what Matt Poff has said about Sue Surf, but what I've been hearing is uh, that in his show, when he talks about, he did like a recap of Sue Surf's career, and um, what the word is, is that he's saying, you know, Sue Surf lost all these battles, whatever the case may be. You know, a lot of people love to say Sue Surf doesn't have a winning record, he loses battles, but Sue Surf's thing is, he gets paid more than people, you know, he does the millions and millions of views. He was talking about his seven million view battle with Hitman Holla, and, um, I had seen a tweet from Mav Hoffa earlier today that kind of like alluded to what was going on. He said, Mav Hoffa says, somebody tell Smurf, stop saying my name unless somebody got 70k for me. I'm not his little friends he plays dumbass games with, period. 70,000. That's a lot of money. But uh, Mav Hoffa saying, you know, and I think it, it was it was the ARP that was talking about a Mav Hoffa versus a Sue Surf. Um, or I don't know where it was, was being talked about, but basically uh, that's what Matt Hoffa said as far as with a battle of Sue Surf. Uh, Sue Surf then goes on live, and he goes on live. He takes a lot of questions from people, and um, this one cat was on there asking him about what Matt Hoffa had said. And when I tell you Sue Surf went off, he went off. He was talking about Matt Hoffa's career, how they're not even on the same cards. He said when Matt Hoffa battles on the same card, he battles at 7 o'clock at night, and I battle at 11. He was saying that I get paid money, 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 ching, 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 big, big, big money. And he was saying that, you know, Matt is not in the field, and that, you know, how can you talk about me? And, um... The homie was saying basically that he didn't know how Math could even talk about Surf when he's already biased against him. And then he basically went on, Surf went on to basically just talk about how Math Hoffa, you know, he's, he's, he ain't really popping as far as the battle rap right now. And that he don't even want to battle him. He was saying like, he, want, he would take Cortez in the future. Him and Cortez could potentially happen. He said he likes JC. But he was basically saying that, you know, Math Hoffa don't never talk about nothing positive. He always talks about the negative. And um, when it comes to Sue Surf, he was talking about, you know, why nobody really don't blog on the bars on I-95. Wrong. I blogged on the bars on I-95. I blogged on my top five bars from the bars on I-95 Freestyle. Uh, I blogged on the album 725 when it came out. Uh, I blogged on At My Mama's House, the video when it first dropped. I blogged about the book. I blogged about a lot of good stuff that Sue Surf has done. So, I mean, I think when you blog on the positive, Nobody really cares. It's only when you blog on something negative or when you talk about something that's trendy that people actually care. It's, it, it happens all the time. You can talk about a thousand things positive. But once you talk about something negative or blog worthy or that's going to drive the numbers, it's like you're the worst thing that ever happened. So, like I said, I've talked about a lot of his positives, you know, and, and I mean, I'm not looking for him to say, oh, yeah, I remember when this person, I'm not looking for that. But at the same time, I do know that battle rappers, for a fact, will quickly forget anything that you've said possible. I think um, Clean was asking me the other day something. He said some shit about 
why nobody didn't blog about nothing positive that he said about him. Bro, I don't know nothing you said about him positive. The negative just sticks out so much. It's just so easy to talk about. Sorry. But, um, yeah, man, y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, you know, Sue Sir on Places Live towards the end of this, you know what I'm saying? It's just not a whole me just grabbing somebody's live and uploading it on YouTube. I would like to talk about it and give you my personal thoughts, break it down, and then I'll let you guys peep it and y'all tell me what y'all think. Is it emotional? Is it emo is it is he emotional? Is he emotional? I don't know, you know what I mean? It, 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 it's a lot going on right now. Um, I just watched The Last Dance, the last couple episodes. Yo, Dennis Rodman? Yo, Dennis Rodman was a wild boy. This nigga really took off in the middle of the playoffs. The finals, load management. Say, yo, I'm out. I'm going to be on WWE. That nigga was crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like that before. Like, he was bugging. I don't even know how the Bulls won them rings with Rodman. Because Rodman, they, they wake up in the morning. This nigga might not even be there. This nigga be in, he be in Vegas. He be down in, in, in California. This nigga just leave and then show up the same, show up for the game. No punishment or nothing and still play. Do you think a nigga could really do that right now in the NBA? Like not show up for practice in the finals, show up on WWE, and then still come and be in the starting lineup? Yo, Rodman, he deserves his own 10-part series called Load Management. Like he deserves his own Load Management series because Rodman was running the Load Management shit before anybody else was. That shit was crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get too far off track. I want to just leave it here. Um, just peep this shit. Sue Surf basically just put Mav Hoffa's career, you know what I'm saying, basically saying that we don't, we don't even compare in numbers. You know, they like to go to numbers. We don't even compare in numbers. I did 20 million views. You ain't done no millions. I got millions upon millions upon millions. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what are we doing here? Um, Sue Surf does have a battle coming up versus Loaded Lux, and I really hope that he brings his A game because, uh, you know, it, it, they, a lot of people are going to be watching. A lot of people are going to be watching. But um, other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe out there, you know, staying positive. Uh, I've read a lot of stories. I've heard a lot of people, you know, either lost jobs or, you know, are going through a lot during this time, and they watch this content and other channels to kind of like help push them through, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't got nothing going on. They watch blogs. They want to hear about what we got to say. That's why... In the midst of all of this stuff going on, we never really slowed down or took a break. We kind of just kept going and pumping out content because I know that there's a fan base of people who really watch and want to know, yo, what's going on with this? Or yo, what's going on with that? So that's the reason why we keep trying to um, make sure that y'all got a lot of content. But uh, other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. We're going to continue to get um, some more orders out next week. Uh, you know, Rice Gang Clothing. It's the ricegangclothing.com. Log on to get what we got on. But other than that, you already know what it is, man. Salute to you, every single one of y'all out there. Yo, math. What's good? You, 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 you. I know you got. I know you're gonna respond to that. I know you're gonna respond to Surf. Don't let him talk to you like that. You ain't gonna let him talk to you like that, are you? Huh? Turn off the lights. Don't let him do you like that. I think math is nice, though. I was just telling math the other day. I liked his. Uh, remember, um. Remember, his, his mixtape was called Blood on My Tims. His name, Randy, just like one of my men's. I popped on the dude that pulled the gun out on him. And he saved me because cops stopped me. And he wiped the blood off my Tims. I remember that. Man, I've had one of the craziest third rounds ever. I would still like to see him in Sue Surf Battle. You know what I'm saying? That would actually be kind of dope. But um, anyway, we out. One. Ask you a question real quick. I know you don't be keeping up with other battle rappers and blogs like that. It's all good. That's what I'm here for today. You feel me? Tapping into the world. Sure. <laughs> did you happen to see that recap that Math did on your career and shit? Did you hear about it at all? Fuck no. Now, you know I'm not watching <laughs> hey. nothing that say Math. Hell I just man. didn't understand how niggas recapping your career who are already biased towards you. That shit was kind of weird to me. Not even that. Besides the, per the fact of a person that's recapping my career that's biased to me, but a person recapping my career more than like clearly like not no close like me and hitman is like a preference like i like hitman more like math hopper's career is no millions and millions of more views than math like google it right. you get a chance go to versetracker.com and google it i, I already know <laughs> millions of more views than math that's one two i get paid thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of more dollars than math 
Word to my daughter. Well, I don't like to talk money. I'm a humble nigga. You don't see me running around with my jewelry, no nothing. I don't do all that shit. I got like, you know what I'm saying? I got a right. hundred okay. grand just for me and Mozzie alone. Right. Now add in what you think I got for, for Lux. Now add Probably in what you think little... I got for Geechee. Right. Now add in what you think I got for Reed. Now <laughs> add in what you think I got for gun titles. And I didn't show up, but they still paid me. Right, right. That's how it go. Now, so, like, what do we do? We need add him, add him plus my features for the year, plus my shows for the year. So that's pretty much the way you feel about it. Clear I got you. Over a quarter million dollars, <laughs> clear, well, far over. Math Hopper might not have made six digits last year. <sighs> Off of what? Because he that's didn't battle. What do you do? He don't make music. So what do we do? If you that's watch this, this is what I got a problem with, and I'm never going to talk about math again. This is what I got a problem with. Now, I'm going to speak once and never speak again. It's not like he in the field. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he battle rapping and actively doing shit, and now it's like us back and forth, like, all right, him and, you know what I mean? Him and Sir about That's to probably why he came out with the show. You're not about to battle me. You're not about to. You're not on my level at all in no way, shape, or form. I'm sitting on a Chris Brown feature. Fact. That snippet was crazy that you put out, too. That snippet Boy, bro, was. I'm saying, what are you talking about, bro? My last book I just dropped with number one in the country. In urban fiction. But now so now if you if you if you look up these, which I didn't, but I know if you look up these math segments, these math, these math shows that he's been doing, every single math show he's talking about surf. He just trying to get you to battle, probably. Every single show he got something to say about surf. Anytime somebody bring my name up, it's a slight on my name. It's a, only time I talk about niggas is if I want to battle them or if I'm joking like Cortez. Me and Cortez, right, that's right. my number. That's my man. I'm always going to talk shit to Cortez because there's a possibility of us battling. JC, oh, it is? I'm surprised by that. <laughs> JC, I like the nigga. John John, my man. You get what I'm saying? We talk right, shit, right. blah, blah. I sit and watch Math downplay my career for years. A nigga that cannot sniff. Me and Math battles don't even be close on a card. When me and Math on the same card, it ain't like surf go and then Math and them next. Like, that nigga battles right. at 7.30. <laughs> that nigga battles at 8.15. Like, I'm not battling till 11. Right. Main event. I don't remember the last time math was on a card I was on. <laughs> it probably wasn't a thing. But that's that. So one more question for I know you gotta tap other people in. But uh how you feel about this uh tournament they got going on? I know you might not be tuned in, but you like any of the new niggas that's in there? The like Jaden Nightwing or real say, sick? I was literally about to say that, Jaden Nightwing. Uh you think he got real sick or you think it's gonna be a good one? I don't like that. That's I don't like that that's the first round. I don't like yeah, that the first true. round because both them niggas is crazy. I like Jada Nightwing and I like the real sick. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Let them niggas talk to the brokers be using the loudest. I move the silence. Keeping your private secluded like I'm on the island. Fly like a pilot. Like a pilot. I don't need a stylist. So DC like pairs of new balance. I need me a challenge. <laughs> it's hard to be friendly cause these niggas envy. I'm too authentic, ain't faking the image. They selling their souls to scratch it for pennies. Before I do that, I stay independent. I spit from the heart. Ain't with the gimmicks. I ain't Kevin Hart. There's no funny business. They written out chains, invest in the image Stacking my chains, invest in the building Feel like the best, confess I'm the illest Sick with the flow, no doctor could cure me My sister too cold, no rapper getting near me Ain't with the bull, it's no windy city